Rob, my writing partner, and I are big Len Dayton fans, and so it was great to be asked to consider SSGB. I mean, we hadn't read it, so it was quite satisfying that it turned out to be really good. Um, and so it's the great thing is initially the concept, which is if the Germans had won the Battle of Britain in, in 1940 and rule London, what is it like? Um, but but the, 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 the best thing really is about the central character that, that um, he's so fascinating because he's, he believes he's a, a detective at Scotland Yard working under the Germans, but he believes he's doing good because he's keeping crime off the streets and, and keeping Britain ready for when the Germans leave. But uh, to everybody else, he's colluding and a collaborator. And so is he fooling himself? You know, and he's got quite a good life under the Germans in a way. So really the, the, the whole piece is about the battle for his soul and whether the resistance can get him on their side or whether the Germans can keep him, you know, and uh, there's the women in his life. So it's, it's a sort of mixture of a crime story, a love story and an out and out thriller, which fits our sort of um, wheelhouse, as they say. <laughs> Well, I've known Len for years. We did a documentary together about 20 years ago about Edward VIII and whether there was a plan to put him as a puppet king on the British throne when the Germans eventually won the war. And Len and I have stayed in touch and we've become very good friends and we wanted to do something together and he said to me, what about SSGB? And I think the central conceit is just so brilliant. Um, and because it's intelligent, it's also quite complex. Um, and as Neil said, that central character who you meet and he's a co essentially collaborating and yet he becomes the hero is just brilliant. And then to have Neil and Rob respond so well to the material is just fantastic. He did... Um a great amount of research, you know, so it, it's, it's, it all feels quite real. You've got to make sure you've got all the details in there to get the context right. Um, and it's, uh, it, it broke down quite nicely into uh, five hours. Um, but, you know, it, it's a complicated world, as, as Sally says, you know, that it's like the, the resistance aren't just good. There are the hardliners who are very bad and will do anything to get uh, our hero to do what they want. Um, the Germans have got their own infighting going on, which is, is true. Um, and, and so it, it, I guess it was a case of, of trying to simplify things was, was the, um, the biggest challenge. Uh, but it, 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 um, it was such a good book that it, it, was, um, it makes life easy. We view it as a five-hour movie in a way, and it's, it's, so it's having, you know, 300 pages, uh, it, it's, it's quite a, a detailed process to make sure that you track everything. But it's, it's a great opportunity to do that kind of thing because, you know, you can, you can go deeper into characters and, and follow people for longer than you would do in a, in a film. So, I mean, it's the first time we've done uh, television, so... Uh, it's quite nice to lose one's virginity to Len Dayton. <laughs> We're dealing with a London that never existed because it's, it's 18 months after what really happened. So you imagine what a, a, a London under Nazi rule could have looked like and how they would have made, possibly imported their own aesthetic or started to import their own aesthetic into the UK. What you do with signage, what you do, we've even talked about, you know, do they, how, do they drive on the same side of the road? Have they tried to change the way they drive them? You know, so all of that is something that you start to look at. And you've got the landmarks that might still exist, yeah. uh, you know, things that didn't get blown up because the war didn't carry on so long. Yes. And also you've got, you'd have had skirmishes in the streets, you have a different type of damage to the, to the buildings. Mm. You know, you might have bullet damage rather than shrapnel or bomb damage. So, you know, you go into all, as soon as you get into that, the detail of it, it becomes even more interesting. Mm.